Yeah, man. Look, misery loves company. And if you're miserable, you're going to attract that. And then you're going to feel good. And here's where people go wrong is that they think that I feel good when I hang out. I love hanging out with these people. Like, yeah, I just get so much off my chest. It's like, are you relieving shit off of your chest and staying the same? Or are you relieving shit off your chest and growing? Which is it, right? Are you, are you dropping baggage to climb the ladder? Or are you, uh, are you, what's the other metaphor? Or are you picking up baggage to compare with the other person and feel good about yourself for not, for not putting down that shit and climbing? God, that was a rough one. <laughs> You know, because some people are like, huh, this is it. This is it for me. Like, this is the way that I am. Like, fucking blah, 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 blah. blah, blah, blah. These people, I fucking this. And these people, that. And gossip, gossip, gossip. And blah, 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 blah. And then they live in this fucking misery. And they're depressed all the time. And anxious. And panic attacks. And all kinds of fucking unhappiness. And unsettled, unsettling energy in their spirit. And then somebody else with the same type of energy comes around. They're like, oh, oh, you too? Like, cool. Like, and they're not growing, they're not doing anything. Or are you the type of person that's like, yo, I need this negative shit off of me. I'm tired of being depressed. I'm tired of being anxious. I'm tired of complaining about my life. I'm taking responsibility. I don't want this shit anymore. I'm moving. I'm going up. Right? Like, which, which mindset is it for you? And if you're that kind of person and you got people around you that are like, what are you doing? Like, why are you doing that? Not like, duh, no. Nah. Would you, what are you like on some self-development thing now? What do you want? Some like personal development? When you're watching Tony Robbins now, it's like, yes. Yes, I am. I'm saying affirmations. I'm looking at myself in the mirror. I'm fucking crying myself to sleep. I'm forgiving myself for pain. I'm loving myself through all of this shit. Yeah, I am. I am. You're not? Why are you not? Why aren't you listening to Mel Robbins, Tony Robbins, fucking all these motivational speakers? Why, why aren't you filling your mind with positivity? Why aren't you filling your, your mind with things that are going to better you? And you're going you're gonna to sit here and say some shit like, mm, what are you, like a motivational speaker now? Fuck yeah, I am. Because guess what? The shit that I've been through is going to help the next guy. Why are you not? Why are you not sharing your pain? Hmm? What are you ashamed of? You think somebody's going to be like, what are you, the next Tony Robbins? Maybe. Fucking maybe. Yeah. But you're the next you, right? So, I digress. If you are being shitted on for trying to be better, Leave those people behind, right? There's a scripture that I love so much. It talks about in the Bible, like, I forgot what the fuck it said. It's like something about if you try to, to correct a person, right, and they don't want it, like, leave them to, leave them to be, right? Let, let the devil have them. Let Satan have them, whatever, right? And it's, it's metaphorically saying, like, leave them to their vices. Let them go through the hell that they need to go through because they're not ready yet. They're not ready yet. And there's people even in my own life that I'm like, I look at them like, oh, they're making a big mistake. And as much as you want to be like, yo, stop. Don't do that. You know what? You can't. Because I would not have listened, and I didn't listen to people in the past when they try to be like, ooh, I don't know about this. And then I do it and I'm like, fuck. Now I know. Right? Everybody wants wisdom until it's time to actually learn the lessons. So, I digress again. If you are, just pay attention to your circle. Pay attention to the people that you give your energy to. Pay attention to the type of content you consume. And it's okay to to consume entertainment. That's all right. You can relax and be entertained and fucking numb out for a minute, right? Be mindful of it. It's fun. It's, it's great. There's nothing wrong with it. But if that's all you're doing, 
What are you coping with? What are you hiding from? Okay. Pay attention to what goes in your eyes and ears. Pay attention to the energy that you are spending with other people. Pay attention to the energy in which they are giving you when you share your experience. How do you feel after you leave hanging out with somebody? Right? And this was kind of, I'm circling all the way back. This is kind of my point is like some people don't want to hang out with people that will make them feel better because it's challenging to their misery. So they want to stay, they, they actually want their misery. They want it. And so anything that challenges that comfort, that's, it's, it's a threat. So it's like mm, that person's all into like this and like personal development and all this like fucking, I'm, I'm just not into it. Right. I tried it. It wasn't for me. It's all, it's all bullshit. Right. Whatever. Then like those are the people who are married to their misery. Then there are the people that are like, you hang out with, you're like, dang, that was a really good conversation. That was really challenging. You actually feel like better because of that. I need to have more of these conversations. Right? Where you feel more uplifted. You feel more, it's like, it's, it's, I know this is such a cliche term, but you feel like you're at a higher vibrational state of being. Like you're, you're like buzzing on a higher level. You know, those are the people that you need to stick around, right? Um, and then, you know, again, back to those people who are like, oh, you know, what are you, person of the, no, I don't, I don't fuck with that because they love their misery, right? But then they complain that they're miserable and that there's just no hope for them. So they take meds and they see all these psychiatrists or therapists and all this shit and they just, they're doing work, but they're not doing the right work. And, and they just stay the same and they never change. And then they blame everyone else, all of society, all of everything. And there's, this is just the way that I am. And, um, without ever looking at like, holy shit, like it's been me. Like, am I the drama? Right. And, and that is where things change individuals when they step back and they're like ah these people these people these people the world the world the world and then they say me holy shit i've been the one i'm the one who stepped in the shit i'm the one who stinks here it's like people who step in dog shit in every room they go in they're like fucking stinks in here ugh and then they leave and like that room smells fuck every room i go in stinks it's like maybe you're the one who stepped in the shit just just a thought you know so with all of that said the only way to change is by paying attention to what you got on what do you got on in here not what everybody else got on not not what everybody else smells like <laughs> check your shoes man cuz it could be you <laughs> 